So again, I was, we were talking before about marriage. One of the mistakes we make is we put all of our eggs in one basket where we expect everything from one person. Yes, sir. Relationship between leadership and, say, followers is a kind of a marriage, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so then why should the followers expect everything to come from one man, from one person? That was in a conversation with the minister one time, and he was uh, he um, quoted something from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, where he said that, um, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Yes, sir. He, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that if I had had ten ministers like Minister Farrakhan. Then I could take take a mirror. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I told the minister what my interpretation of that was. Because we were talking about the nine ministries. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The tenth ministry is the spiritual ministry. So we don't need ten spiritual ministers like Minister Farrakhan. One's enough. Well, we need a minister of health. That functions at the same level as Minister Farrakhan functions at in the spiritual realm. We need a minister of education that functions at the same spectacular level that the minister functions in in the spiritual realm. And so on and so forth through all of the ministers. You know, yes, sir, yes, sir. Ministers in all these different areas of life. Not everybody just concentrated into one area of life as though all you need to know is spiritual wisdom. You need to know how to dig oil out of the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Grow your food, build cities, engineer dams. Where, where's, your, where's your locomotive? Where's your ship? Where's your helicopter? You see, I mean, you know, we say Islam is mathematics. So where's our PhD mathematician? Yes, sir. If the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says study science and, and technology, okay, then where's our technology sector? You think we hear, but we don't obey. Yes, sir. We don't make a connection between what we're hearing and what we do. See, we hear things like this. <laughs> we, see, we hear things like this. Says, well, one learned man is harder on the devil than a thousand ignorant worshipers. Well, then why are we so easy on the devil? Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. Ignorant. Why don't you become one of those learned men or women so that you can beat the hell out of the devil? Why are you staying ignorant? I mean, it's like you're on the devil's side. You want to stay ignorant so, so he can deceive you and deceive us and so that you don't have any qualifications to do anything to counter the evil that he's doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quran says, believe and do good. Well, how are you going to do good if you don't know anything? You can believe all you want, but you can't do nothing. What, what good is your, your belief? So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, mere belief counts for what? Nothing. That's right. You see, so we need qualification, qualified people who are hard on the devil. 